Hey guys, Seth from Time Flies Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to display your Android screen on any PC. You don't need a rooted device to do this. Stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and go to visor.io. All links will be in the description. Once at the website, click the white download button. After you've done that, hit add to Chrome. And then add app. Now you can launch this app two ways, by either clicking launch app or going to your Chrome app launcher and opening it from there. Once you've opened the app, make sure you click on ADB drivers at the bottom. And once you get to this page, go to the bottom where it says you can grab the download here and click on here. Just run it once you have it downloaded and since I've already got it downloaded, I won't be doing the next steps, but make sure you get that installed. Now open up Visor again and click on Android USB Debugging. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have another video, but you have to make sure that your USB debugging setting is enabled in order to do this. And I have, like I said, another video showing you how to do that. So once you've done that, make sure you plug in your Android device to your computer using your USB cable and your device should show up and you should click on that once it's uh, available. So I forgot to add this in the video but make sure that when you open your phone it's unlocked and there's a few things you have to do on your phone which will be security prompts and basically you just allow everything that it says to allow. There's like two different prompts and that should be it so then you should be good to go. So here's my device and once again it's not rooted, um, it's a Samsung S6, just wanted to show you it and scroll through a few things, here are my games. I'll show you a little demonstration playing Minecraft just so you get an idea of how the software runs and how, um, how accurate it is. Also you can use your mouse which is a cool feature, you can use your mouse to click on the different buttons and basically use your phone, so I thought that was pretty cool. So guys, that's basically it. That's how you do it. Um, once again, you don't need a root for this. Uh, there's just a few steps that you got to take, and you can have your Android device on your computer. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Time Flies Tech.